All right, everybody, we're going to talk about 210.63 today, and I really like what Code Making Panel did on this. Um, uh, there was some changes that, that desperately needed to be made. There, ever since they added subsection B to this rule uh, back in, I think, 2017, uh, it's been kind of broken, and I think they finally did what, what really needed to occur in this edition. So I think you'll be happy with the uh, changes made to this edition. All right, so Article 210, Branch Circuits, 210.63, equipment requiring servicing. The requirement for a receptacle near electrical equipment was simplified. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best way to state it. So 210.63 says that a 15 or 20 amp, 125 volt receptacle outlet is required within 25 feet of the equipment specified in A and B. Okay, so 210.63A says you need a receptacle within 25 feet of heating, air conditioning, refrigeration equipment, right? That's been in the code for way longer than I've been around. So here I've got this uh, de this uh, unfinished basement in a house. My furnace is there. I need a receptacle within 25 feet, right? When I walk outside, I've got an air conditioner. need a receptacle within 25 feet. When I go into an attic, if the furnace is up there, need a receptacle. If you go to the rooftop, right, need a receptacle. So that's been in the code forever. No real changes have happened to that for quite some time. Pretty straightforward. But in the 2017, I believe, they added a requirement for other equipment needing a receptacle. And it's been broken ever since. Now I think it says what it needs to say. 210.63b, other electrical equipment. Within, so right there we'll stop, indoors, right? does not apply to outdoors. So here I've got the service equipment. We know I don't need to read this rule because it only applies to within other than dwelling units. So within other than dwelling units, a receptacle outlet must be provided for wiring systems that include a solidly grounded system operating at less than 150 volts to ground. <sighs> what if I have a building that only has 480? right? It's some sort of manufacturing facility or, you know, it, it's, a, it's a building that only houses motors. I mean, that, that's, you know, not something you see every day, but they're there, right? So what if my building only has 480? Why would I need a receptacle? And more importantly, how would I provide a receptacle inside near the motor control center? I mean, you would have to actually buy a transformer and step it down just to comply with this requirement. And obviously, that's way more than the code should make us do, right? So within, other than dwelling units, a receptacle outlet must be provided for wiring systems that include a solidly grounded system operating at less than 150 volts to ground. So you got 12240, you have 12208, you got to have a receptacle. The receptacle needs to be in the same area as indoor panel boards, switch boards, switch gear, service equipment, and motor control centers. Okay, well, certainly this building has 12208. I mean, see the transformer there. I'm assuming we have 12208 and kind of useful to have it. So I've got to have a receptacle somewhere in the area of the panel board, right? What the code said in previous versions, there were a few things it said. Number one, it, it didn't tell us a voltage, so that was majorly problematic. When this first came out, um, it applied outdoors, and that could be a huge problem because what if all I have is just a, a, a sprinkler motor out in a field, like for a farm? <laughs> so it's gotten better, but one of the things that it said in the 2023 and, and previous versions is they kind of copied and paste, copied and pasted the language from A into the requirement in B. And you have to be careful when you do that because sometimes that just doesn't make sense. In 210.63A, the receptacle for the air conditioner and the, and the furnace, it said that that required receptacle must not be located on the load side of the disconnecting means for the equipment. Now that makes sense. I've got to go out there and work on the air conditioner. I shut off the disconnect. I still need to have power to the receptacle. But this section, 210.63b, also said that the receptacle must not be downstream of the disconnect for this equipment. And it's like, what, what, what does that even mean? Like downstream, so it can't be downstream of the main breaker for the 12208 volt panel? Well, then how am I supposed to supply it? <laughs> I got to have re bring in a whole different circuit to the building 
that's just dedicated for one receptacle, not only is that absurd, it's probably a violation of uh, Part 2 of Article 225. So they really cleaned this up. The intent here is that I have a receptacle around this equipment, and there you go. It finally says what it really needed to say. All right, so Article 210, when I teach code changes classes, it's always, you know, a couple of hours on Article 210 because 210 is a huge article, right? GFCIs, required circuits, 210.63 that we just read. And then we're going to have one more video next time, which is 210.70, which talks about required lighting outlets. So I hope you'll join me then. And in the meantime, be safe out there, and we'll see you next time.